Hi guys, it's Tuesday again already, <laughs> and tonight we're going to have some fun with upcycling some sports awards, these things. These were, I don't even know this person, these were not personal to me, I have no idea who gave them to me or how they ended up with me, um, but they're from 1994, <laughs> so I'd say it's time that we can uh, upcycle them. So here's what they're going to look like. I already did one. Okay, you might have seen that already on the community tab or on Facebook. So we're live on Facebook on the La Vintage Decor page and also the workshops at La Vintage Decor. And um, of course on YouTube. So I think these turned out really cute. And I'll show you how easy it is to accomplish this. Now, all together, I have four. So I have two that are undone. And then I have the one that I've done. And then I have another one. Now, I painted this one. I, I, I'll show you how I got to this point. And on the back of this one, you could do this one either way. So I considered going sideways with this. But then I thought, you know, if somebody wanted all four of them, they wouldn't want one that was sideways because the other ones have the up and down uh, one on the back. So, so let's kind of go with keeping them all the same way. And I'm going to put the screen down so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, when I describe that again, you'll know what I mean. So, um, so if someone were to get all four of them, they would be positioned like that. Because if we did one sideways, then it wouldn't be as cool of a set. <laughs> so let's get started. And what I did to start was to just remove um, this thing off of here, which is just this little, uh, it's basically on there like a sticker, but it's, it's on there pretty good. But once it comes up, it comes up. There we go. <laughs> and it flew off and you can also see up at the top this is actually engraved in here so we're gonna fill this in um, and let's this is the only one that had this plaque on it so I hope that comes off so yeah it's, it's gonna come off pretty easily and then um, hmm, now this left some sticker residue this might pose a little problem but we'll We'll get it figured out. I have my window open, so it's like all the dogs in the neighborhood are going a little crazy tonight. Except for mine. He's under the table at my feet, being a good boy. Um, this one actually had like an indent in the bottom, so I had to fill that in. So where the plaque was on it, it kind of went in a recess. So... Um, so just different treatments. It's going to be basically the same thing on all of them. I really struggled getting this um, the thing off of the other one. I might have to shut the window. It's a little loud. Okay. And one more. black or whatever you call it. I don't know. I guess the um, Somebody feel free to comment if the dog noise is too crazy insane and I will shut the window. <laughs> Sounds like there's a dog fight going on. Oh boy. Speaking of dogs thought I threw that on Grizz. This one's metal. <laughs> But anyway, some of them, like some of them were plastic, but that one was metal. They're all different. They were all made by different companies too. So this one came from Pittsburgh. So maybe we'll do some cool upcycle with that part of it too. Cause I actually have some trophies that we're gonna work on some upcycles too. All right, so I have Dixie Mud here. And this is gonna be what we use to create some texture on him here. And it's also gonna fill in the uh, writing on that. 
You know, my friend Dawn that has the Glow Forge, this is the kind of stuff that you can get, you know, from that. So that's how they do that, like with a laser machine. But we're going to fill in all their hard work. And this stuff is awesome, and I'm just using a plastic knife. And at first when I did this, I was real particular with it. And then I thought, no, I wanted it to look like plaster. So um, just kind of spreading it on, and I'm going to spread it over the whole thing. And not worrying about... We're not going to sand it or anything. We just kind of wanted to give it that rough texture that sort of looks like plaster. But not too crazy, because we are also going to decoupage on it. So... So just just enough it's just like spreading uh peanut butter <laughs> so i still have some of that sticker residue i think we'll be okay with that i'm just gonna put the um the dirt right over it and i do have my trusty hair dryer but what we're gonna do is work on the other one that i have painted while we're letting this dry, so maybe we won't have to have it on as long. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well, and hope everybody had a nice Mother's Day, and um, I know we're getting ready to do a little, little vacationing. We're going to have a nice little cabin weekend. Uh, if anybody's local, our store's going to be closed on Saturday. And then we're gearing up for a couple weeks uh, in Florida here soon. So uh, we'll be closing then as well. So new new changes with the new store. So uh, it's just me and whenever I'm not going to be there, just going to close. <laughs> um, your dog barked at people passing by running or cycling. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's always happening around here. But you know what? It's just a dog, it's a neighborhood full of dogs and that's okay. Um, so many times, like I'm so always surprised at how many people have multiple dogs. We see people that walk their dogs in strollers, <laughs> little, little dogs in strollers, or they'll have two or three leashes and they have great big dogs. So um, it's all, it's all in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's a good neighborhood. Yes, Laura. Okay. Um, so what this is, is the Kindest Regards stamp. So uh, this is from Iron Orchid Design, and it's just like a uh, writing on there. I have used this countless times, and we're going to use it again. And I think I'm just going to stick with the same colorway on all of these. The butterflies will be different, but um, we're just going to use the same... Uh, colorway but I'm using ground espresso these are archival inks this is uh, distress ink it's a ranger product I get these at Michaels but I think you can get them on Amazon as well um, I just love these little inks um, so I used the last one over here so we'll just make things a little bit different and we'll come up here and get some of this over here And because the stamp is so large and the object is so small, I am actually just going to lay the object on, on the stamp, kind of lining it up straight. And just pressing down on it. This little plaque was made in Girard, Pennsylvania. There's one actually from Shields Trophy that's here in Altoona. Okay, that one didn't have a strong impression, but that's okay. They're all going to be a little different. You can still see the writing on there. It looks more like um, a space, like um, when someone put the greeting and then goes down there. But we'll put our butterfly up here. So um, I have a couple butterflies here. Now, originally, like I said, I was going to do this one across, and then I thought better of it. So let's make this guy face 
he's still pretty large there to put on a diagonal. So let's go with a little bit smaller butterfly. Um, so I had already done this one. So let's let's go with that. So we're just going to position that. We'll put it a little, a little farther up here to cover that. There's actually two blank spots. We'll go with this way. <laughs> we'll do two kind of tilted this way and two tilted the other way. So what I'm using, oh, first of all, let me tell you that I painted this one, and we're going to paint the other ones with uh, oyster silk. Is that ink meant to be used with stencils rather than stamps? Um, no, I've never used an ink pad with stencils. I've only used them with stamps. Um, so I will show you a little trick to use it. Um, hey, Haley. A little trick um, on the sides of it that we're going to use to distress it. But um, but no, I've never tried that, but it might be worth a shot. <laughs> so um, that might work. Okay, so the oyster is the color that we're using, and this is the silk in the Dixie Bell line. And what we're using to do the clear coat is uh, the flat sealer. Uh, this is what we're going to use for our decoupage medium, is the clear coat flat. And I have my brushes here in a plastic bag. Okay, and so we're just going to coat this. And then just put it down with the rest of the sealer. And then we're going to, we want to make sure we have that down. Like I'd brush out from the center. And then I would coat the whole piece. My little buddy over there, Haley. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let that dry a minute and then work on our other one. So we're gonna come back and finish this. So on the outside edges of this one, we did a little distressing and I'm gonna show you how um, we did that. Oh, you'll have to give him a kiss for me. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to set that out of the way. And yes, it's time for the hair dryer. I apologize, but we'll get this uh, dried real quickly. Now, notice on these, which if you can see that around the outside edges, it's already drying because it's a lot lighter. So we're going to get it dry real quickly. Okay, this one's not dry yet, but we'll work on this one, and then we'll come back to that one. And I dried this off a little bit, so uh, we'll let that go for another minute, and then we'll finish that one up. So let's paint. I love this color. It's called Oyster. And I'm going to show you a trick um, on how to uh, get that... Get a nice cutout on your um, on your decoupage paper. If you'll notice, I tore around the outside edges. Well, I've seen other people do this trick with water, and I I used it tonight, and boy, it's a game changer. It really really works nicely. So just uh, painting over this, and like I said, it's sort of 
gives it the look of plaster once it's um, once the paint is on there. So I'm not sure if next week or not, but we're going to be doing some actual trophy uh, upcycles too. I thought I had more of those than I did, and I still may have some somewhere else. <laughs> I have to plug this phone in. I keep forgetting and unplugging it. We need to get that charged so we don't lose you. Sorry for my hand there okay now it's plugged in and now I lost my brushes <laughs> okay so we have that uh, drying we might have to get the dryer out again but meanwhile let's get one of our butterflies ready um, this paper um, I don't know whether you saw on Saturday I did a video oh, I'm holding it the wrong way I did a video on Saturday um, of a table on my channel and um, I used this same paper. And this is uh, Jamie Ray Vintage Decoupage Paper. And it was in a big sheet, and I did the whole tabletop. And this, these are the uh, remnants from it. So we're going to cut out one or two of them, actually, for these last plaques. Um, I love this vibrant blue, so let's get that. It's kind of big, but we'll uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I hope it might be a little too big. Um, if not, we'll get a couple other small ones ready. But here's this trick that I think is really cool. We'll start with this one. So you take a, a paintbrush, and this is just some water I have here, and it's make a it's a pointy brush. So you want to use a a sharp Point brush and then we're just going to go around the outside edges of the piece that you want to cut out so if you use scissors it's just too linear you know so it's a lot better if you tear it but this makes the job super easy it just pulls away look how easy that is You just kind of pull away from it. It allows you to get kind of close to it, but still have that um, organic kind of edge to it. So I like this method. Um, I'm going to go in a little bit closer here. You want to be careful not to get too close so it doesn't, um, you know, kind of when you use water on paper or fabric, it kind of has legs <laughs> It kind of uh, travels real fast. So you don't want to get it up into your image. So this, like I said, might be a little big. Um, I think we can make it work. I just love that blue. So I'm going to get rid of a little bit more of this paper. So like I said, I got kind of close there, but I think we're still in good shape. Okay. All right, so let's get another one ready here. Um, let's do... Well, this one's kind of pretty. Let's do that. It's smaller, but let's do that. This paper also has insects on it. Not so much into the insects as the butterflies. I 
right. And since this one is a little smaller, it's okay to have that extra edge around there. Okay, so this one is almost dry. The edges are dry. There's still a little wet spot on there, but it'll dry. But I want to show you how I did the distressing on the sides. So this, I have abused this stamp pad. It's called Vintage Photo. I just love this color. So it's so much so that my the pad came out. So I just kind of hold it in there when I'm using it. But um, all you do is just kind of go around the side edges like that. And you can see it just does a really nice job of distressing and nothing could be much easier than this. <laughs> do those little corners too. So it does a really nice job. So now we've got two and those butterflies are going the same way. So we'll make our other two butterflies go the other way. But this is gonna be a really cute little set. Somebody could hang uh, the four of them together and I think that would be really cute. I'll probably put them in the shop and sell them separately, but um, I'll display them together for sure. Okay, I'm going to use that annoying hair dryer again, and I apologize. <laughs> My butterflies are flying away. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take a minute and paint this one so that can be drying a little bit while oh, I left that brush out. So that can be drying while we're doing the stamping and the decoupage on the other one. You can see that this is really pretty quick. <laughs> quick craft here. I've been so into stamping lately. I really enjoy it. Um, I, am, I, I always enjoyed the IOD stamps and also um, Redesign with Prima makes stamps. So I think it would be really cool if um, Dixie Belle did some. And of course they have some smaller ones in the craft store too. I, I bought a big block, like about this size, that had like a bee, um, looked like chicken wire, but it could be a beehive. And uh, I've used that on furniture pieces before. And the smaller bees. So there's a lot of options. we'll be able to get this uh this project all done tonight <laughs> so i'm getting my uh, brush out for the sealer oh prematurely it's time for a stamping on this one we'll let that one dry and let's just kind of go in the middle here and then on the other one we'll get the signature so we're using the ground espresso again well, actually, I'd like to stick close to the end. That way I can kind of keep it straight. Because if I don't, I'll probably uh, get it crooked. I do have some decoupage papers at the store that are 25% off right now. So you might want to pop in and pick one of those up. So if you want to do something like this, I don't sell the stamps anymore. Um, so like I said, you can either buy them from, um, Iron Orchid Designs doesn't uh, sell theirs on a website. You can only buy it from 
stockists. So, um, but a lot of them have websites, so you can still, still get it. Okay, so we're making this butterfly go this way. We have to make sure we get it on there. And move it over a little and tilt it a little so we don't have them going off the edge. <laughs> I think my brush wasn't entirely clean <laughs> because it looks kind of dark, but that's okay. Um, you're interested in the pieces, so let you know let you know the prices. I sure will. I'll have to um, I'll think on that and I'll PM you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to let that dry. Keep uh, going back over it, and yeah, sometimes you know if that happens, it's okay because it kind of lends itself to that uh, you know distressed look. Okay, this other one is not quite dry, so let's uh, let's run the dryer on this one a minute. Okay, see this is going really quickly, right? <laughs> okay, so this time I want to get the signature at the bottom. We'll make these all just a little bit different. And again, we're using the ground espresso. Whether we're getting the whole thing in there or not, but we'll try. I'm going to at least get the bottom straight. Then I can eyeball the other one. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> I think we'll be okay, um, but that one is, here's the top of that one. Okay, I did all the, the rest of them okay. I don't think it's going to make a difference. If you look at it, you really can't tell. <laughs> Riker woke up and heard you and was smiling. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it matters that it's upside down because you really can't, can't even tell. So, Haley, can you tell since you're interested in them? I don't I don't think it's gonna matter. So I'm gonna proceed. Okay, so here's this little little one we did. And so we have sort of a bigger one and two mediums. So um again I want to make sure okay, we're doing our butterfly this way. Oh, you love them. Okay. You know, I'm just, hmm, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this one ever because that is, it is upside down and it's kind of driving me crazy. So <laughs> we'll just fix that real quick. It'll just take a second and that way I can sleep tonight. <laughs> Take two. I'm gonna cover up my paint so I don't dry it up.
it dries really quickly so I'm glad I just took that extra second my butterfly was flying away <laughs> the hair dryer okay so this time that is the top so we'll make sure we get it right the stamp pad might still be wet enough but I don't think so <laughs> so I don't want to take any chances okay so this time now let me put <laughs> I almost had the stamp pad upside down this time okay we'll ink that up do the same thing I'm lining it up on the bottom and then just eyeball on the side there Okay, we got it right. <laughs> okay, and we want our butterflies, this butterflies flying this way. Let's move him over a little. Eh, that's okay. He's off center a little bit, but that's it's okay. Okay. This project went really quickly. Usually my uh, Tuesday talks end up going about an hour. We're going to be done in probably less than 45 minutes tonight. So I cross uh, posted this, uh, the Facebook Live, on. Um, workshops at La Vintage Decor also. So we're probably going to be doing some furniture classes there uh, and then maybe have some smaller classes out at uh, the U.S. the U.S. Hotel in Holidaysburg. Okay, I'm going to use the, the hair dryer for a quick minute. good and the last step again is to take this vintage photo stamp stamp <laughs> and go around those edges get those corners Okay, we'll get this one. Okay. Well, well this project is a wrap. <laughs> so I'm going to turn these around so you can see them all together. And I'll put them do them this way because that's probably the way you would hang them. We'll do, do them that way. So yeah, I think you could do all four of them in a row uh, if you wanted to hang them like that. Either way, they're really cute. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with the way they turned out. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna face each other. So yeah, upcycled sports plaques. <laughs> and again, we can do upcycled trophies or 
anything we want to upcycle right that was an easy one but i'm so happy now that um they are out of my stash <laughs> and um that's my goal this year you know we just moved so we're in this new location and i just want to i'm gonna take my glasses off because i see the reflex reflection um i just want to minimize all that crazy stash of things like this that I had. So um, better to make them into something that's sellable that someone wants and um, not sitting around since 1994. <laughs> so I want to thank you for joining me tonight. I'll have to put these back on so I can find out where to stop. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys have a good night. And if you're local, stop in and see me at 814 Green Avenue. And otherwise, have a wonderful night and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.